Okay, so this is how you uh, play Madden, and I'm gonna throw in some tips too. First, you gotta pick your character. That's me. And then what you do is, hang on. Okay, now this is for the updated Xbox, Xbox only. Now see where it says play men NFL 13? You want to click that, like this, and you want to hit the A button. Then it should start to play. While it's doing that, it's loading. Still loading. Here we go. I recommend just skipping this, it's long. And they had this weird thing with Ray Lewis. Kinda looks like Tron. Okay, and then it'll say press the start button. I just hit the start button. And now it's still loading. Here we go. Okay, there's gonna be a play now, build your ultimate team, play career, communities, my Madden, Men Moments Live, your face in Madden, in fantasy football, and then there's also play online. Now, what I'm gonna demonstrate is how to do the play now. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set this up to the Super Bowl XLVI or 46. Now what you do is, let's say you want to play as the Giants. You just click A, then it should say Ready, Skill Level, and if you just got the game, I recommend doing Rookie. And then also, you can edit your own uniform, so then you can do like a throwback thing. Plus you can also make your own. See, there's that old one that they have from last year. Don't forget the throwbacks. I love the throwbacks. And there's that one too. I think I should probably do the throwback. And then when ready, you hit ready. Next what you do is, you can have conventional, which is like what you have, like let's say you have a handheld system. This is what you do for conventional. Or you could just do game flow. I like to do conventional. Then there's exhibition or Super Bowl. I'm going to be doing Super Bowl. Exhibition is just like a normal game. Quarter. I like doing five minutes, but sometimes I just do three minutes. Then you can't really change anything if you do Super Bowl mode like that. Then once you're ready, you hit A to advance the game. And then these are also tips for the game. Sometimes it takes a while. It also gives tips and facts about NFL legends. Here we go. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, on the 
Alright, and then usually they would pick heads and heads usually wins. They obviously pick receive. Now usually I recommend doing defend up, defend right, which is what I'm doing. Here we go. Now I like to do kickoff middle. I don't really like to do squib or onside kick. So I recommend doing kickoff middle. And here's a good tip. When doing it, you got to do it like this, push down, and then on the screen it should go down and then up. Once it's completely up, you lift up. This is for kicking. And then right here, you can also do super sim in case if you just want to, don't really do defense. Like that. You, I recommend just doing advanced sim. Then you can do like man coverage or man zone. I'm doing man coverage. And here are some plays. That was Y. Cover one press. Then I'm just playing as a guy. I'm not really a Giants fan, so I don't really know. And then they give tips. If you don't really want to learn any tips, just hit Y. You can also use the connect for this. I will demonstrate how to do that once I'm offense. I think the graphics of this game are really good. As soon as I got it, I admired, I admired these graphics. No, I'm obviously not gonna do the whole game. So I'm just gonna do it once I'm done with defense and I'm gonna do offense. And maybe in the description I'll give the results. Boom, I just hit a fumble. Time out. That's a way to use a connect, but obviously it didn't hear me. <laughs> then you can just do it manually. See where it says time out? You hit A. Time out. Okay, then you can do like a flip play, which is by hitting RT. Then let's say you want to do two men under. Oh yeah. As we look at this defense, there is Jason Pierre Paul from where you have to be. Very I like skipping some of ball. that, even though that says Jason he's playing, but still. Blocking, it still might not be enough. His arms are so long, he'll still be stacked in grab the quarterback. But he's powerful, easy mass, he's got long arms, everything he can run in the elite pass rusher. Boom! That's how you stack. Challenge! Challenge! Right there, trying to challenge. Now that's kind of it's kind of stupid because that's the only way that you can challenge. Now this is for receiving when you're gonna punt and you're gonna receive the punt. Now as the kicker gets ready, he's gonna get the ball and he's gonna punt it. And right there, use the long stick to move. You can also do juke moves like that. That was more of a spin though. And then you can do stuff like, I like doing by play type, and then if you want to do a pass, you do that. First, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a pass. I'm going to do quick slants. Now what you do is, for, you got to hit A to snap, and then pass to the receiver you want to pass to. Alright, now this will be a running play. Inside handoff, outside handoff, pitch or counter. I think I'm going to do a counter. Counter WK is what it said. Now what you got to do is you say you snap it, and then you can move. 
the running back with the long stick. You can say timeout, no huddle, no huddle, no huddle. Like that. See? It's no huddle because I used a connect. You can only do that if you if you have a connect. It's the same exact one and I don't believe that and I can't believe that they actually fell for that. Now, I'm going to do a completely different play. Now I'm going to do a Hail Mary play. Now, usually I recommend throwing to B when you do this. Why? It's because most of the wide receivers are covering when the rest are blocking, so it won't have enough time for B. Now that's what I do usually when I just play on my own time. Obviously that didn't work, so you shouldn't use a Hail Mary. That's all for today. Oh well, I'll give the results in the description. See ya!